We come into this world with our eyes closed. And most of us choose to live our whole lives that way. We blindly follow anyone who will lead us, giving ourselves over to anything that provides us with a sense of purpose. For me, it was the Marines. I had enlisted six months ago with my best friend, Will. Now we were a half a world away, being deployed into South Korea. We were brothers in arms. No matter how bad it got, I could always count on him to keep me in line. Jiro Mitchell, it can't be all that bad. I guess it's just finally starting to sink in. Now this is what we signed up for. Uh, well, the old man was a leatherneck, so I didn't really have much of a choice. Yeah? I joined up because of the old man, too. More just to get away from him. I can't get much further away than this. All right! All right! Listen up! We have our orders. Inserting an LZ Epsilon. Down and dirty, just like we taught you. Everybody know what's going on? Everybody know they're going! Hoorah! Everybody ready? Hoorah! Let's do this! Mitchell, Hines, lead out! Let's get it done. North Korea was invading Seoul. We had to push him back. This wasn't just a mission. It was an initiation. In day of heavy fighting, U.S. Marines were successfully able to drive North Korean forces out of Seoul. With an additional division arriving soon, hopes are high that we may finally see a return to peace and stability in the region. Why is one man spared while another taken? To this day, I couldn't give you an answer. But death comes for us all, eventually. When you lose over 6,000 men in four hours, it's easy for one death to become just another number. But all I knew was my best friend was gone, and that part of me wished I had been taken instead. The dead, when they've settled their debts, it's up to the living to pick up the tab. And so it is time to say farewell to Private William Robert Irons, a man I had the privilege and honor to have under my command. A life is only important in proportion to its impact on the lives of others. By this standard, Private Irons ranks among one of our very best. After Korea, I thought I was done. But Irons gave me something to believe in. It's one thing to get your foot in the door. Next, you gotta prove you belong there. I got my first chance two months later. Just over 12 hours ago, Nigerian Prime Minister Samuel Abadoyo was taken hostage while attending an international technology summit in Lagos. We believe this to be the work of the KVA, a leading anti-Western terrorist organization founded by former Chechen separatists. The location and true identity of its leader, codenamed Hades, remains unknown. While the motivation for this abduction is unclear, it is in keeping with a series of bolder attacks attributed to the KVA over the past several years. Your mission is to link up with host nation forces under the command of Captain Ajani and affect the immediate release of the PM. These amateurs think they understand hostage rescue. We'll show them how it's done. I'm waiting on you, rookie. Yeah, hang on a sec, all right? The, uh... Still off. Okay. We got it. Things are pretty impressive. Well, try not to fall in love with the toys. Still comes down to sell to the use of them. Gidja, my men are in position. We are ready to commence operations at your word. Copy. Roll out in five. Try not to get us killed out there, are you, rookie? Life with Atlas was nothing like the Marines, but I wasn't complaining. With lives hanging in the balance, Atlas forces moved in swiftly to rescue the hostages. <laughs> God damn it, Gideon. I didn't know you were a movie star. Oh, easy now. I know it's probably the first time your backwards hillbilly ass has seen someone with a full set of teeth, but I'll get carried away. Well, that's funny, because that's what your mom... Oh, did you see that shit? 
Not bad, right? Yeah, you got lucky. KVA's getting better every day. Whatever happened to that guy we pulled out of the drink anyway, huh? Uh, Irons took that with him. It's fine by me. Badass, man. Fucking badass. As you were, son. As you were. Is there uh, something we can help you with, sir? Well, a glass would be a start. <laughs> I'll do you one better. Gather around, gents. There's an old military saying. You treat your men like you would your own beloved sons and they'll follow you into the deepest valley. I lost my son. And it taught me the importance of seizing the moment, of saying what needs to be said when you have the chance. You gentlemen did a hell of a job out there. Lagos has opened up fantastic opportunities for Atlas. And for that, I am grateful. To you, gentlemen. It felt good to celebrate, but Gideon was right. We just got lucky, and the KVA was getting better and thinking bigger every day. This just in, you're looking at what is obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the Vecron Pacific Reactor near Seattle. And we have under the shot of the gunfire. CDC has ordered an evacuation of all under the personnel within a five-mile radius. The National Guard has begun distributing potassium iodide tablets. The need to be the most effective protection of the West. This is coming live. It is raw footage, appears to be some kind of statement from the KVA leader, Hades. My fellow citizens of the world, today, you are afraid. You are afraid because you have been woken from your sleep. There are some days we never forget. Moments burned into our memory until the day we die. Where were you the day everything changed? Four years ago, one man tried to destroy our way of life. One man tried to throw the world into darkness. It felt like we could never find our way back. But we did. Together. When you were vulnerable, we gave you our strength. When you were sick, we delivered you the cure. When there was chaos, we brought you order. Stability. Safety. A chance to start again. Who are we? We're the way forward. It was as close as we'd ever been. Four years on Hades' trail and now we had his number two. The doctor was the key to everything. So, we'll begin again. These people, who are they? So this is what you think of me, huh? You think I'm a rat. Fuck you! I think you are whatever I tell you to be. Alona was one of a kind. ex not working for Atlas. She could be your best friend or your worst nightmare. But they never knew which. We have the names. Now, we just need to know when and where the meeting is. You might as well kill me. I'm already dead. Once she got under your skin... Please, Pierre, work with me. Let us help each other. It was all over. It's a single source. Has the intel been verified? 
The intel is good. Hades is meeting with his financial backers in Santorini 24 hours from now. Mr. Irons, the protocols for mounting an assault This on man the... is responsible for 50,000 deaths, General. We are going in. An operation on foreign sovereign soil? It would be an act of war without congressional approval. Atlas is an internationally registered private company. We don't need Congress. Gentlemen, are we operational? We're at the ready, sir. You're the trigger. I want your team on the ground in six hours. On whose authority? On my authority! Hades' death left us with more questions than answers. But all that mattered was that he was gone. It was the start of a new chapter for all of us. At last, time ran out for Joseph Chiquetze, better known as Hades, leader of the KVA and mastermind behind the devastating attacks of four years ago. We recently spoke with Jonathan Irons, founder and CEO of Atlas International, the private military corporation responsible for hunting down and killing Hades. Congratulations, you've achieved what no government was able to. Thank you, Wendy, but the real heroes of the day are the men and women of Atlas. I couldn't be prouder of what they accomplished out there this week. There are rumors that the UN will offer you a seat on the Security Council. Can a life in politics be far behind? Well, I like to get things done, so no. But look at what we've done in New Baghdad. Forty years ago, we pulled out of Iraq with that place in ruins and our tail between our legs. And now, it's a testament to what happens when you put efficiency before bureaucracy. The last four years have been huge for you. In the wake of the KVA attacks, Atlas has become the world's biggest corporation. And you now preside over the world's largest standing military. So what's next for Jonathan Irons? You've got questions. It's time for some answers. Until now, we've stayed in the shadows. Watching. Waiting. We were formed four years ago. A US-led multinational unit. Codename, Sentinel. Our mission, to investigate the KVA attacks and prevent anything like that from ever happening again. But soon it became clear that there was an even greater threat. A man ready to exploit this tragedy for his own gain. After the attacks, Atlas rose to new heights. It took over security for ports, shipping lanes, pipelines. Nation after nation handed over their most critical infrastructure to Jonathan Irons. We realized too late he was surrounding us. But now in the last 10 days, ISA chatter has surged. One word keeps getting flagged. Manticore. Atlas is about to make a move, but we don't know what. It was a risk extracting you. But you're our best shot to find out what Manticore is and stop it. So how about it, Mitchell? Are you in? Kingpin, it's a signal 2-3. Tracker has been successfully coupled with the target. Copy that, 2-3. We've got Pandora in the crosshairs now. Projected destination is Rio Gallegos Air Base. If Irons is planning a strike anywhere in the hemisphere, this would represent an ideal staging point. Our only option is to intercept Pandora in international airspace and force a controlled landing. Coordinates for mid-air rendezvous to follow. Roger that. I've got a team suiting up now. It's a big step, Cormac. You'll be hitting Atlas directly. No more working from the shadows. This is Manacle. A biological agent designed to target specific genotypes. If your DNA signature isn't in the Atlas database, you're dead. So, he can drop this in the middle of a battle. His troops live, ours die. That's right. Contact with even a single spore is fatal. Chem suits are useless. Is it operational? Unknown. But because he produced this sample, he could already be manufacturing at an industrial scale. If he is, we need to know the where and the how. 
It's the only way we bring irons down. The problem is Atlas has dozens of sites capable of mass production. By the time we put the pieces... Gideon has the location. Are you sure he can be trusted? This mission doesn't happen without him. What other choice do we have? Our target is a former lumber factory in Bulgaria. We'll converge on the rendezvous point and link up with Cormac and his team. Three minutes to target! You were right about irons. Just took me a while to figure it out. Better late than never, right? When for you, we'd still be stumbling around in the dark. Just like old times, huh? first CEO of a private corporation to become a member of the United Nations Security Council. Unfortunately, my appearance today has been clouded by a flurry of speculation that my company is developing a weapon of mass destruction which would be capable of targeting specific ethnic groups. I want to address these allegations head on. Are we developing such a weapon? No, we are not. Because we've already developed it. But with all due respect, the United Nations is a relic from a different time when nations were unique in their ability to solve the world's problems. But that just isn't the case anymore. Primarily because you have outsourced the job to me. I have sent people to die in your wars. So I feel uniquely qualified to tell you, your wars don't work. Which is why my priorities have changed from profits to policy. Because politicians don't know how to solve problems. But I do. So let's be clear. I am here to solve the world's problems. And I believe the world's problems begin with you. So what the hell was that? Couldn't tell you, mate. But it sounded an awful lot like Irons declaring war. We took out his WMDs without Manicor. Atlas didn't stand a chance. Cormac, you need to see this. Talk to me. We cracked the encryption on the last set of uploads. What am I looking at? Potential targets. I ain't had a fallback plan if Atlas was ever backed into a corner. The preemptive strike. He's gonna try to knock us out before the fight has even begun. Well, a direct attack on the US? Are we sure Irons is even up for that? So what's the play? No way Atlas can hit them all at once. San Francisco. The entire third fleet is in the bay. I need you two on the ground. Now.
We've got movement on TRP three and five. Confirm changes on those cargo ships. They're attacking the fleet. It'll be a massive. At ease, Lieutenant. How many assets do I still have active in the area? Scanning. Stand by. Connecting you now. All signal teams, radio check. Signal 2-2, two, two, radio check. Charlie Lima. Signal 2-1, loud and clear. So where the fuck are we supposed to be now? Solid copy. Descend and hold position at the carrier. I'm en route. The world is asking one question. Why did I attack the United States? The United States has had the world in a constant state of war for over a hundred years. Time and again, we have seen the catastrophic results of this belligerent militaristic policy. These wars haven't led to resolution or peace. These wars have only led to more wars. The United States has set the agenda because they wielded the biggest stick. Well, no more. This is not the beginning of a war. This is the end of all wars. After San Francisco, the entire free world turned against Atlas. Irons entrenched himself at his headquarters in New Baghdad. All communications ceased. Both sides knew what was coming. Our mission was to fly in with the 37th Airborne during the initial shock and awe campaign. From there, we would break off and infiltrate the Atlas Command Center, taking out Irons. For Cormac, it was the end of a journey. He'd been waiting five years for this day. Last minute change of plan. We'll be flanking around from the east and the north, covering blue team on their sortie over the target. Yes, sir. I guess I've got the soft option. There are no soft options on the table. I just don't want all my assets in play at once. We're only gonna have one shot at getting the bastard. That's all we'll need. I know it. Just stay alive. You're our star witness when we drag his ass in front of the Hague. Looking forward to it. All right, good luck. There was nothing more to say. We all knew what had to be done. This was the beginning of the end. For one of us. I've cheated death many times. Got right up close to it. It was never something I welcomed, but with it comes serenity, a clarity that you'd never expect. You experience the present as the inevitable destination of every step you've taken towards it. And in that same moment, you see a different path stretch out in front of you, the path you could have taken at the first step. We are all on this road together, the good men who fight for wrong causes, and the corrupt men who cloak themselves in righteousness. Each one of them convinced they are on the side of the angels. But every journey has an end, and death can only be cheated for so long. We had thrown everything we had at Atlas and come up short. Now it was time to pay the price. Finish this thing. We're the only ones who can stop our hands from launching Manticore. 
it's three of us against an army. It's suicide. You're right. But it's what he would have done. Okay. You got any ideas? Just one.